Hello, this video describes five important temples in Egypt and explains a little bit about their history and how they looked. What do Egyptian temples look like today? Where are they located? When studying Egypt, the ruins can be overwhelming because there are so many throughout this great civilization. I will start with the temples from the Upper Nile and go down to the Lower Nile. Remember, the Upper Nile is south and the Lower Nile is north. This seems backwards, but remember the Nile flows north into the Mediterranean Sea. The five temple complex described in this video are Abu Simbel, Philae, Kumombo, Luxor, and Karnak. Topic number one is Abu Simbel. Abu Simbel is only 40 kilometers from the Sudanese border and it is the most southern temple complex in Egypt. When visiting these ruins, you feel like you are on the edge of modern civilization. The main temple in the Abu Simbel complex is the great temple of Ramses II. Next to it is a smaller temple dedicated to the Egyptian god Hathor. At the entrance to the main temple are four colossal statues of the pharaoh Ramses II. These look like guards protecting the main entrance. The temple is also dedicated to a few Egyptian gods such as Ra, Amun, and Ta. Inside the temple on the north wall is depicted the Battle of Kadesh where Ramses II defeated the Hittites. Topic number two is the Temple of Philae. Philae is south of the city of Aswan in the southern part of modern day Egypt. It is also south of the Aswan Dam built in 1960. On the island of Philae sits the Temple of Isis. The temple was preserved after it was moved to a new location because of the construction of the Aswan Dam on the Nile. Isis was a popular Egyptian god in antiquity and was even worshipped by the Romans. The most important ruins were constructed during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus who ruled from 285 to 246 BCE. Other important buildings in this complex were the Temple of Hathor and the Kiosk of Trajan. The third topic is the Temple of Kumombo. Kumombo is north of Aswan. The temple is dedicated to the crocodile god Sobek and to Horus. Sobek is depicted with a crocodile head and is the god of fertility, military power, and the power of the pharaohs. Horus was the god of the sky and kingship and is shown with a falcon head. The main temple was built by Ptolemy the Sixth and Ptolemy the Twelfth. A few areas to note inside the temple are the relief of surgical instruments, the sanctuary of Sobek, and the sanctuary of Horus. During the ancient period, there were crocodiles in this area. There is also a new museum dedicated to crocodiles and their mummification. After the Aswan Dam was created, there are no more crocodiles to the north of the dam. At least we hope this is still true. The fourth topic is the Temple of Luxor. The Temple of Luxor complex is in the heart of the city of Luxor. Luxor lies to the north of Aswan and to the south of Cairo. There are hotels, markets, and mosques right next to the temple complex, and it is beautifully lit up at night. This temple complex was built by pharaohs Ramses II and Amenhotep III. Prominent areas in this temple complex are the Great Court of Ramses, the Colonnade of Amenhotep III, and the Avenue of the Sphinxes. The temple complex is built on the eastern bank of the Nile. This is on the same side as the Karnak Temple, and in fact the Avenue of the Sphinxes is 3 kilometers long and it connects the two temple complexes together. The last topic is the Temple of Karnak. Karnak is not just a temple, it is a complex of many different types of Egyptian buildings dedicated to the gods and pharaohs of Egypt. The main building in the complex is the Temple of Amun. According to the Egyptians, this is where the god Amun lived surrounded by his wife Mut and son Khonshu. In Egyptian art, Amun held an ankh and a scepter and wore two plumes on his head. Karnak was the most important place for worship during the New Kingdom in Egypt. Prominent areas in this complex are the Great Hypostyle Hall, the Obelisk of Hat Shipsuit, and the Sacred Bark Sanctuary. There are many more temples I could have discussed, such as Edfu, Abydos, and Dendara. Perhaps I'll cover them in a future video. I also did not mention any of the tombs or pyramids. There is just so much to see in Egypt. I hope this video helped you. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share my content with someone who might find this useful. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other educational videos.